season, Kobe Bryant, along with Chris Paul, making his first All-Star start. On the front line, representing the Phoenix Suns, Amari Stoudemire, along with 11-time All-Star Tim Duncan, and Yao Ming making his seventh All-Star appearance. Right here, let's go to the public address voice of the Phoenix Suns, Jeff Scott. Ladies and gentlemen, from the Orlando Magic, please welcome Dwight Howard. On behalf of the NBA and the players, we want to thank you guys for coming out tonight and welcome you to the 58 All-Star Game. We're going to have some fun. Let's get it. Let's go. Dwight Howard, who will be the starting center for the East. And as Doug mentioned earlier, the leading vote-getter for the All-Star Game, the first player ever to exceed three million votes. The officiating crew here tonight, Mark Wondelik in his 18th season, Ron Elisiak in his 21st year, and Tony Brothers in his 15th season. East and West getting ready to take the court. Reggie, we were talking yesterday about your very first All-Star appearance uh, back in 1990 in, in Miami. What was the mindset at that time? Very, very nervous. Walking in the locker room, there's Michael Jordan, Larry Bird, as we mentioned yesterday, a very skinny and svelte. Charles Barkley and all you really wanted to do was fit in and shoot threes and that's all I did. And uh, Doug you can look at it from the coaching perspective. I know you coached the the East in Cleveland back in 1997 and it's not the type of game where you put in uh, eight out of bounds plays and <laughs> several versions of the, the pick and roll. No this is called scripting minutes. We talked to Mike Brown before the game and he was talking about that and how you get down with your assistant coaches and you script out the minutes to make sure Marv in that fourth quarter about the eighth minute mark guys have got their playing time so then you can go with the guys you want to go with at that point in time to try to win the game. Now Mike Brown the Cavaliers head coach did tell us that he wants to play the three Celtics and the two Magic players White Howard <laughs> Rashad Lewis 40 minutes plus here tonight. Uh, he'll be getting a memo, I'm sure, from both of those uh, general managers if that does happen. The East in control in the dark uniforms, the blue. And here is Wayne Wade from three. This guy has been on a mission ever since last year when he got hurt. People questioned whether or not he should be on the Olympic team. He has been a driven man, drove into the gold medal, and he's coming back with a sensational early part of this season. Kobe Bryant from way downtown. And back comes LeBron James. LeBron to the rim. Well, it's going to be size versus speed. The West has the side, but the size, but the East with LeBron James, especially in the open court, has the speed. Amari Stoudemire. And rebounded by Dwight Howard. Ari Stoudemire has been very much in the news over the weekend, the subject of much trade speculation. At one point, reportedly, all 29 other teams had called to inquire. Wade again with a three, and it's rebounded by Duncan. It's always nice to be wanted. 29 teams. You just don't want to have a fire sale to give up somebody <laughs> like that. That's the only problem. And it's very difficult to get equal yeah, value. Exactly. A little fadeaway move. And it's a run down by Iverson. Allen Iverson of the Detroit Pistons, who have had their problems. Oh, beautiful ball fake by Iverson. And yes, that is Allen Iverson with the new hairdo. The Colin Rose are gone. And Marv, you were the one that was in the, his room helping him cut that. Yes, I was. Okay. Very helpful that way. And here's Duncan. Tim Duncan of the San Antonio Spurs who after a slow start have come on. They are 35 and 16, the second best team in the Western Conference. Garnett, yes. Two of the best mid-range shooting big men in the game. And you're gonna see Tim Duncan shoot a lot of jump shots. That's what Greg Popovich has had been doing this season. Does not want to get him beat up down on that low post, so taking a lot more jump shots this year. Duncan. 
and slapped out of bounds. Last touch by Howard of the East. Hey, Coach, the East looks much more relaxed as Allen Iverson in the open court gets into the lane. Nice little ball fake and finish. But remember the practice yesterday? The East was very relaxed. The West was a little bit more structured. The West looks a little bit tense right now. Eastern squad try to set Guinness Book of Records standards, <laughs> of which apparently Devin Harris of the Nets was able to go from end to end with the basketball in 3.9 seconds. And we asked the question, was he trying to break anyone's record? And the answer was no. He was setting a record. That was called being set up by some veteran teammates. Bryant with a series of fakes and then the soft touch. Well, Kobe Bryant last year, remember, only played about three minutes in this game. He had entered a finger right before the All-Star game, and I think Phil Jackson would like to keep his minutes down today as well. Here's Wade going behind the back. Oh, and it's put down by Dwight Howard. Well, he leads the NBA in dunks on the year, 127 already this season. Nice crossover by Paul. Yao Ming coming up short. Kept alive by Bryant. Garnett with the rebound. The East can run. Wade went one on two. And it's handled by Duncan. Bryant to the pull-up for three. And the rebound snatched by James. A little hop step move here by uh, LeBron going right at uh, Stoudemire. Was that the crab dribble that we just saw? <laughs> Remember when Magic used to do that as soon as he got the yeah. rebound? He would do that like high dribble, skip down the floor. Oh, and Paul rejected after a nice move. Foul is called. First foul of the night. <laughs> Well, Dwight Howard, we saw him last year as Superman. He was dethroned last night with a little kryptonite by Nate Robinson. But how about Dwight Howard in this block? And Marv, just to put that little block in perspective there, we talked about in our open, but he leads the NBA in blocks in almost three a game. He leads in rebounding. And if he leads in those two stats, he'll be only the fifth player in NBA history to lead in both rebounds and blocks in the same season. And as I said in the open, I think if I had to vote right now, he would be my defensive player of the year. However, last night, Superman defending his slam dunk championship uh, in another spectacular competition, lost his crown to the high-flying Nate Robinson of the Knicks. And how about that? He acted as a prop yes. in his own defeat. <laughs> Not quite sure he was trying to pass the torch to little me. Oh, Wade, uncontested. The East with a 13-6 lead. They've hit six of their first ten from the field. The West just two of nine. Duncan over Iverson. And the tip missed by Stoudemire. Look out. Oh, James whipping by Paul has just wisely stepped away. And here's LeBron setting his feet for three. This guy's become such a great basketball player, Marv. He's shooting the ball better. His footwork, his release is more consistent on a nightly basis. His attention to detail has grown through the years, and he is a brilliant basketball player. Power move by Stoudemire, then try to find uh, Yao. The save by Iverson, but did not carry him out of bounds. Paul is on it. Here's Bryant from Paul. Chris Wall doing a good job. Saw the, lock, the loose ball, picks it up, finds Kobe Bryant streaking down the... Lane for the easy dunk. Reaching is called on Paul. And look at Chris Paul here with the steal. Voigt, LeBron James going down the lane with the finish. Another former slam dunk champion in Kobe Bryant. Very early in his NBA career. How about LeBron saying that uh, he's thinking of entering slam dunk next season? Nice pass to Iverson. Howard was blocked by Duncan. And again, Duncan got a piece of it. East will maintain possession that was last touched by Duncan. Well, the growth in Dwight Howard's game, we know he's a power player, a dunker around that lane. His game, the next expansion, is going to be when he can step out and make that little 10 foot jump shot. And when he does that, he's going to be unguardable. James coming short on a catch and shoot. A shot by Garnett. 
always amazed by how his shot has improved when he